my friends on YouTube. Today we are going to be doing a much different video. Of course you all know me for making candles and of course making soap products and all those gorgeous things but to go along with my line I am actually bringing in some stone earrings which I did talk about this several months ago and I'm still working on it behind the scenes. So I have actually uh, just um, organized my printing because I need to have some cards for these to sit on which will just basically say a little bit about what they are so today I'm going to show you what I'm doing so these are some of them aren't they darling I mean I just love them so these ones are a bit thicker I do have some that are smaller but I have decided to not um, use sort of some cheap earring posts so they're going to be more either a titanium a sterling silver post um, or surgical steel or something like that so that's basically um, what I'm doing at the moment so I thought I'll pop the camera around why I'm organizing everything here counting them all up and I thought you may just want to see exactly what I'm up to I'm always up to something new but I will tell you if you're looking at having your things in a gift shop or something like that you definitely always need to be thinking always need to be looking at the market and what people are actually looking at and can I tell you when I started making my um stone um you know candle things like this so my jars and things I actually had a lady reach out and she said I would actually love a necklace earrings whatever in that stone product and I thought okay that kind of gave me a thought to let me think about that how I can do that is it too heavy or not so I had to play around with a number of things but let's pop the camera around I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing and hopefully you actually just really enjoy this process just a little bit more because as I said we're all business makers and we need to really think about our business and what's going to be um, workable and what's going to sell and I can tell you everybody earrings necklaces things like that sell all the time but of course it does need to go through your range so I couldn't bring in plastic because I'm trying to limit plastic and a lot of my clients are vegans and they definitely don't want that they want more of a greener type product so anyway like I said without further ado let's see what I'm up to so I am back everybody and these are all of my little earrings that I'm sorting out it looks so much fun and uh, I thought look I really need to sort them out so obviously I've made these over time so here is some other ones don't they look really cute and I will actually show you some that I've actually done and um, like so here so I don't know whether I showed you this one before but this is one here look how cute that is and then of course I have like different um, you know of course findings for them so this is some at the top don't they look really sweet uh, and I will show you there's actually a couple different ones so when I was doing this I noticed this is a much thicker one to this is thin um, and because it's in stone this one's much better I think than the thinner ones but I'll still sell the thinner ones I might just sell them off a bit but obviously um, they are much more fragile in the thin and these ones I've dropped them on the ground they don't break but I did actually have some that were a little thinner than this I threw them out because with my testing I just realized that um you know it really wasn't what I wanted so yeah so literally this is what I've been up to my friends and oh there you go an orange one and the reason I actually did this too is often when I make my jars like as you know making these ones often I actually have a little bit left and it's just enough to put in um like a silicon mold so then basically these are the molds that I'm using I've got a few different ones but and I didn't pay you know heaps of money for them I just thought look I'll just get some that are a little cheaper so then in these ones here I've basically worked these out so that I know um you know which one's going to be a set so for instance you know like these ones here I do have another one of this particular one here we go so I know that this is a set so then these flower ones are sets and then I have like a few different green ones um, and so on but I hope you um, like I said you know sort of like this it's kind of something different isn't it these are my little pink ones aren't they cute um, so they're little love hearts of course everyone knows I love a love heart because of course that is a part of you know my business 
and I've actually been finding the jewelry um the little findings which you know like your ear pieces the studs and hooks and so on there's a company in Australia that I've been getting it from it's just a small company but I do like to support small and um and this company is called I think it's whimsical beads so if anyone wants to go over there that's that's the place that I get mine from they're really lovely over there as well they've been really good so um, great to deal with and super fast shipping which who doesn't love that and I will show you this one and so once I get my new bags then they'll be put straight in them and then like there's some like this so um, so this one's like got a bit of you can't see it but it's like got a purpley black kind of um, bit to it and then I've, that's got the rose gold on that one some will be plated but um, actually the findings that I'm using are, are really good. I really do love these new findings. And what they are is they're um, like copper free. So I think that's good because a lot of people um, have allergies, you know, to copper. So anyway, that's something that I thought, look, you might be interested in that. But as I said, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? And, you know, look, I just wanted to do something different. And I am really concentrating to try and get um, my wholesale off the ground I'm probably going to be doing some shows next year um, I'm thinking of doing some expos actually so uh, you never know where you may see me in the um, new year but hopefully it's you know um, my business is going to sort of move forward because <clears throat> we all know things have been very tough at the moment uh, for all of us you know um, they've had lots of different closures on different companies and things like that at the moment as well now let me just move this camera now I know you can't see my face but you can probably see this a little bit better so that's why I moved the camera so and then of course I do have let me show you these these are cute too so um, and they're actually not heavy because I asked a couple of my daughters who wear earrings all the time I said do you actually think they're heavy and they said no not at all so which was good and this um, product being hydrostone it does dry really light uh, so I did think that was you know a really good thing as well so some of them I'm going to just like have one of something so um, I don't do markets at all ever, anymore at all, but um, you don't know. You never know what I'm going to be up to in the future. So you've always got to be thinking ahead, don't you, sometimes. Um, and then I do have these extra little bits, but um, these are more than likely going to go for these particular ones here. So let me just pop those ones down. Don't think they will go on that because they're the wrong colour. Um, and as I said I've just got a few extra bits so I might even give away some freebies a couple free earrings or something like that and look how cute this is I have to show you this my daughter got these and you basically put your earrings through these it's so cute um, I'm not sure where she got them from actually but anyway I, sh I should ask her so let's pop that one away and inside here this is where I've got all like the um, findings that I buy from them um, and they're pretty good like they're just really nice so I've got some rose gold some beautiful gold ones as well and look and this is the thing I'm going to tell you when you're buying quality for a pair of these some of the pairs um, cost me four dollars just for the pair of the the stud the ends uh, most of them aren't they're only a few dollars each but um, that's the thing everybody you know like if you're going to buy something really cheap um, it's going to be cheaper but then of course nobody wants to pay more than a few dollars um, and these will probably be around $24 or something so then I've basically got these now if you're wanting to know where I got these ones um, I got these from Crafty Space so I will leave Crafty Space's um, details down below for you and like I said I've got these and then basically the sticker that came with these I just decided look just pop the sticker on the outside and then if I stick them in here now these also if you're wondering what's red at the end of these um this is a protective one because um it goes into your ear so obviously that's the protective bit so um you know so that you don't poke yourself because if you poke yourself you'd have to throw that out you can't sell that 
um, but anyway and then I just basically on their bags they actually put these stickers and I've been lucky enough to be able to pull every sticker off so far and now that I say that I probably can't but I did and then I just stick it on the top so I know when that labels on that's um, what that one is because then I can actually write that on the description um, and then these ones are rose gold as well so I hope you love it. Tell me if what you think. Tell me what you think, and I'm going to give you. I'll I'll go and whiz over the prop the um end of these, so that you can see all these ones. But for now, like I said, I'm just going through these. Oh, and as I said before, let me tell you, my friends, as well. Um, for anyone that sells wholesale, whether you know, doesn't matter what you sell, whether it's clothing, jewelry um soaping products it, it really doesn't matter but a lot of people that are wholesale in australia they're you know they were selling on um trade square or trader although i think traders pronounce trada i always call it trader because that sounds more australian to me um let me just make sure i've got these right because that's the platinum one um yeah anyway they have decided to close their doors um, so yet once again that's another company that has decided to close their doors um, as I did say in another video Trade Square has also decided to close their door no more um, orders um, they will be there so like if you um, have bought anything on Trade Square um, you know and you're waiting for the order or you're waiting for the payment as a wholesaler don't worry they did say that um, everything will be honored they're definitely there to um, honor everything and you know fix everything up which is really good because a lot of companies just seem to close the door and then then that's it you know but um, so I'm actually glad that they're trying to do the right thing and you know settling everything but at the same time look sadly companies do go broke you know and it's not that they don't want to pay you sometimes it just happens that you know things just don't go well sometimes do they but anyway so I just think the world's a bit crazy so if you're you know selling things and you're saying to yourself why aren't I selling um you know I'm not doing very well you know Honestly, the one thing I can tell you is seriously join the club of many, many makers um, that are really struggling at the moment. Like, um, sadly, they are struggling, you know, a lot. Um, like I said, you know, the world of business is quite hard at the moment. Um, so please don't think you're the only one that's not selling something or something like that because, you know, 100% that's not true um lots of places are, are you know just doing it so tough so you know my heart does go out to everyone that that's really trying and just um you know not doing so well and i do understand that uh it's very difficult at the moment but anyway hopefully me showing you something like this gives you something else to think about and even if you're not going to sell it maybe it's something that you can make that is super nice um you know just to make for um we might just put those in there i've only got two of that one um you know it might give you something else that you can actually make for somebody else so it might even be your family some friends something extra at a market maybe even i did think that would probably be a great idea um as well so anyway i think i will end the video i'm not going to bore you but i promise you i'm going to go over the top so i will add that in just now so you can see exactly what i'm doing so here we are everybody look how beautiful they are there's so many gorgeous ones so i do have some rainbow ones some beautiful uh, marbled kind of looks i do love these ones here and of course they're stone so sometimes you're going to see a little mark here or there out of the stone but i don't mind that that will be made really clear to people as well um, and don't you love these ones i really love them i spent a bit of time um, making those of course i do have lots of leaves and art and just something a little bit fun so they will be on my website soon um, hopefully I can get them on the site of course these things take time don't they and some will you know like sometimes you're going to have a darker marble sometimes lighter um, and some might just be a one-off 
and just to show you these are kind of like the findings I have actually in these containers here that you can see here is about $280 of findings I think it's very expensive but um, but they will last a while for me to make some beautiful amazing products so watch out for that everybody you will start to see them arrive as soon as I can get them up and going and of course um, looking beautiful so I've tried to clean up my warehouse in here or my studio I should say um, but on to bigger things and better things as we always say so I hope you love it and of course like I said wait and check them out you can also join my Facebook group if you haven't if you just want to come on there you can ask questions feel free to post things on there as well it is a friendly safe group I always say um, you know look if there's any nasty comments or anything they're removed immediately um, and that person gets blocked so it is a free um, space we all need to be kind in these hard times everybody but um, all the links will be on here so please go over and join that if you want don't forget to subscribe of course on here so that I know that you're loving my content and of course a big thumbs up if you think it's worthy anyway I'll see you next time friends bye for now